Hey everyone, live from my European kitchen in Denver, Colorado. I am uh, making a porchetta today, which is an Italian classic uh, pork roll. And it's really great to serve around the holidays. And I'm gonna be making this tomorrow on our local news station here, Fox 31 in Denver. Uh, so I'm excited to share the recipe with them, but I wanna share the recipe with uh, all of you as well. Um, uh, if you're celebrating uh, Christmas or the holidays, um, instead of serving a standard rib roast with a prime rib or a turkey or a ham or any of the usual uh, subjects, think about, um, think about doing a porchetta. Um, first and foremost, it is significantly cheaper than uh, a prime rib. Uh, this pretty much costs around $2.75 a pound here in the States and uh, you can probably get, uh, you can get the whole pork for about 30 bucks out the door. That's dirt cheap uh, if you're you know, putting on a big holiday meal for someone, at least I, I think it's pretty reasonable. Um, so without further ado, I wanna show you some of the magic of how to make this. And I won't have the finished product done in this video, so you'll have to come back for that. Um, I'll post again when it's um, coming out of the oven or in process so you can see how the cooking goes because it takes several hours. But it's very important to um, see how this is made and it's super simple. So without further ado, let's get going. And before I do, just a friendly reminder, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, Eurotrotter, please do so. I would love your support. And again, um, thanks for tuning in. Here we go. Okay, so here we have our uh, pork. This is a pork belly. It's the belly part of the pig. And I have two versions here. This is one that's cut. Um, you're gonna want the porchetta to be about five to seven pounds. Honestly, this is probably around seven to eight pounds. That's fine. And you can see that it has the uh, skin on the outside. So you wanna keep the skin on. This pork has been uh, sitting out for about an hour, which is what you want it to be, room temperature. I have my oven preheating at 425 degrees Fahrenheit, okay? I'm actually making two today, so I have both of my ovens going. And then I have another pork that I haven't cut yet because I wanted to show you how to trim that. But again, very important to keep the skin on. And then uh, when you're getting ready to season and roll the pork, this is what it should look like, okay? A nice thick layer of fat and then uh, a nice amount of meat as well. So let me get in close and show you guys. Okay, but this is what it starts out with if you end up buying a whole pork belly. If you're in the Denver, Colorado area, you can get this from Pacific Ocean Market. It's uh, great, they have it there all the time. Otherwise, get it from your local butcher uh, in, in your local neighborhood. Uh, this is very simple in terms of the ingredients that we have. Um, a good dry white wine like a Chardonnay. I'm using Macon Village Chardonnay by Louis Jadot. It's uh, one uh, of a favorite producer of mine and you're gonna need three-fourths cup of that white wine. You're gonna need half a cup of water, some olive oil. I have a spicy hot pepper seed olive oil, but use regular olive oil, that's just as fine. Um, we have six cloves of garlic chopped. You don't need to mince it. I have uh, two tablespoons of coarse black pepper. Uh, now keep in mind guys, we are going to use what we wanna use. You want more of a certain ingredient, throw it on. You want less, don't put it on. We've got some crushed red pepper seeds, probably about a tablespoon. We have some cayenne pepper, one teaspoon. Kosher salt, I have four tablespoons in here, but you're only gonna probably need two for a pork roll, so we'll figure that out together. And then a very important, but unfortunately expensive ingredient, and yes, you can not use it if you don't want to, but it's called fennel pollen. And this is not the same as, hey Vincenzo, it's not the same as fennel seed, it's not the same as putting fennel seed in your food processor and grinding it up. It's actually the pollen of the fennel uh, plant, and um, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful um, citrus and pollen rub for the pork. 
And this I get from Savory Spice here in Denver, Colorado. Uh, they always have it when I go in there and uh, I go to the store in Boulder. Uh, Dan, the owner and manager there, is a super great guy to work with. So those are the ingredients and it's that simple. So without further ado, let me show you how I season this. And I'm actually gonna try and hold this uh, stick here and do this together. It might be a little bit easier than, uh, than setting it down. But basically what we want to do is um, we want to, I want to show you quickly how to trim this pork so it looks like this. So I will set this down here for a moment. Okay. I'm going to back this up so you can see. Great. So you'll know, whoops, and there goes the phone right in the, <laughs> hit the pork. All right. Cooking is so much fun. All right, let me make sure I can balance this out, guys. Hold on one second. I was getting ahead of myself here. Okay. I think this is good. Okay, cool. And actually, let me wipe the lens. Okay, sets. Okay, that should be a bit clearer. All right, so we have probably here a 10 pound pork belly. And just so you can see, this is what the other side looks like. It's got the nipples on it. It's got the nice hard skin. You definitely want this to sit uncovered in the refrigerator for one to two days so the skin dries out, okay? That helps with the crisping of the pork belly. Um, you'll notice that this end is kind of ugly. It's got the little wrinkle in it and it's got some excess fat, which we don't want. And we really only want our pork belly to probably be about um, a foot and a half long, okay? And in that five to seven pound category. So I'm gonna lop off a good, uh, it looks like eight inches of this, because it's just too much. So let's go ahead and cut this. And this is, all this is is bacon. Long story short, it's bacon you get in the supermarket, except when you get it in the supermarket, it's cut super thin. All right. And the skin's a little tough to cut through, so um, you gotta put a little muscle into it. I do a little bit of trimming, but not much. You know, th this is definitely fatty, but it won't taste like it when you eat it. And um, this pork, when you make it, um, the more it sits, the better it gets. So this is definitely something that's good to make ahead. This is a great, um, if you will, uh, like a deli meat. And it's loaded with all these great spices. And um, it's also great served warm, which is what I'm gonna be showing on the station tomorrow, is how to serve this warm with a creamy Parmesan polenta. Uh, natural pan juices, it's a little arugula salad tossed in olive oil with some salt and pepper, and then topped with the crispy pork skin, the crispy rind of the pork. So that is it. I have this beautiful pork, and if you want to give it a little extra love, you can take a mallet and give it a good whack, just to flatten it out a bit. We're just trying to get this to be a nice, even layer. And for someone who doesn't like to work out, <laughs> I get the benefit of cooking and working out. I just got back from Switzerland. I had a wonderful shoot. I met some wonderful people. And I can't wait for you guys to see the upcoming episodes next year when they air. All right. So we've given our pork a nice whack. And what you can do is I just further trim it. Don't worry about losing this pork. I mean, there's so much here. And you're also going to do another trim once you roll it. So this is just... A little bit of prep. 
Now this is an important step too when you're making any dish. This is uh, having all your ingredients in order here is called mise en place, which means have your stuff in place or everything in place. And uh, it's French. And this is what's important is it helps make the cooking a little bit more fun by not having to go back and forth from preparing to getting your ingredients ready. So it's very important mise en place, have your stuff in place. Okay, so let's get ready to season this baby. And again, what's important when you start working on this is you want your oven at 425 degrees Fahrenheit because we're gonna cook this for two and a half hours with the lid on in a Dutch oven. And it's as simple as trimming it, seasoning it, tying it, and putting it in the pot and letting the oven do the work for you. So let me go ahead and try to bend this around a little bit. Give me one second, guys. I gotta work this camera out here. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Here we go. All right. Perfect. All right. So let's go ahead and season this pork belly. So what we're going to do first is we're going to generously season this with some salt. So go ahead and sprinkle some nice kosher salt all over the, the pork. And don't be afraid of the salt. You definitely want to season it because pork needs salt. So I'm probably putting on about a good two tablespoons. You want to make sure that the pig is well seasoned. Okay. I think we've got some good salt going on here. Then what we want is some coarse black pepper. What I love about this uh, dish is it's extremely impressive when it's done cooking and it's super easy to make. Because it just has a few ingredients and again, the oven does everything for you. And again, why make the usual boring turkey or prime rib? Do something different. We're gonna throw on some hot pepper seeds to give it some heat. If you don't like the hot pepper seeds, don't include them. But I do think a nice little kick uh, gives it that extra bit of flavor. And I'm not afraid of hot pepper seeds, as you can see. So I'm giving them a nice splash. Uh, then we want to put in a little bit more heat. So I have some cayenne pepper. So I'm just doing a light sprinkle because a little does go a long way with cayenne pepper. Just a very light sprinkle. Give it some heat. Okay, uh, six cloves of garlic chopped. And we'll spread that all around. Doesn't that look beautiful? I wish you could smell it because it smells heavenly. Now here is a very important ingredient, the fennel pollen. So I have here uh, three tablespoons of fennel pollen but you're only gonna need one. Again, this is doubled because I'm making two of these. So I love the flavor of the fennel pollen. This is the star ingredient in the pork. So again, if you have a savory spice uh, in your area, go ahead and get it there or get it from your local spice shop. But this does go a long way and we want it to because it is super intense and fennel and pork go so well together. Look at that, that is beautiful. Okay, perfect. Now we have our white wine and we have our water, so we're gonna leave that for a little bit. But what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna actually put a little bit of this oil on here. So just a nice drizzle of the olive oil. Help keep everything moist and juicy. Okay. And we um, are ready to roll. Okay. I'm just collecting up some of the ingredients. 
from my clean counter here and adding them to the pork. So now is the time where we want to roll. So here's how we do it. It's pretty simple. So we're just going to take this really tight, just like this, and we're going to keep on rolling. It's that simple, guys. Okay, so what we need to do now is tie it up, and then we're going to season the outside. Okay. So to do that, we're going to lay some strings out here and tie these individually around the pork. Keeps it simple. You don't have to worry about doing anything fancy with the string. A little bit of garlic got away on me. So I just lay these strings out. And this looks like it's a good place to start. So we're gonna take our pork seam side down and we're going to go ahead and place it over the strings. Just like that. We want to make sure it's nice and tight. Okay. So I'm going to go right in the middle with this. And tie it nice and tight. Perfect. And again, I'm gonna tighten this end here. Come on, finger, get out of here. I'm trying to keep it as tight as possible. Just trim the string. We want to make sure this ends nice and tucked in as well. Whew. A little slippery on me. All right, here we go. Okay, here we go. One more time. All right. And that is your tied up porchetta. But you want to add a couple more strings because it does not hurt to have it bound more. You want the strings to probably be a little bit more than an inch apart. Keeps everything in place. That's how easy this is. One more. Right in the middle. Look how nice and tight that roll is. Okay, that's it. Now I'm gonna leave these ends on because I'm gonna end up cutting these off so they don't need to be perfect. And you can see what the other end looks like, just like so. So that is perfect. And we are ready to go into the oven. After we do one quick 
bit of seasoning. Okay. That's it. So what we need to do is get our pot ready here. And then we're gonna season this. All right. So here is our nice porchetta all tied up. And we're gonna add some olive oil to the outside to help the uh, salt and pepper stick. You know, I see a lot of people when they make this, they just put the salt and pepper on and you know, it just, it doesn't stick because the skin itself is not uh, sticky enough. You could also rub garlic on this if you wanted. You can see how nice and glossy this is. And then we go ahead and we add some more salt because we want this pork belly to be very flavorful. Okay, just all around. I want to add more pepper to the outside. Because we're going to be using the skin as well when we make this, so it's important to um, have that seasoned as well. Okay, so now to the part where we get it in the oven and get it out of sight for a couple hours. All right, let me move this out of the way. Mr. Pig, we're gonna move you down there. Okay. So now we have a nice large Dutch oven, okay, that we're gonna put the porchetta in. And um, what we want to do is first make sure it's going to fit, okay? So you can see that's tight in there. So we want to do a quick trim just to have it all fit a little bit tighter. And again, you get so much meat out of this, so please don't worry about wasting a little bit of it. I'm going to go ahead and cut a good inch off the roll. And you can keep the meat and you can reuse it if you want. Okay. Done. All right. Back to the pot we go. And before we put it in, we are going to add a bit more olive oil to the pot, just like that. We don't need the hot pepper seeds from the olive oil in there. And we're going to add our three-fourths cup of white wine. And we're gonna add half a cup of water. That's it. And then we're going to put the pork into the pot, just like this. And it is ready to go into the oven. So, again, our oven is on 425 degrees Fahrenheit. We're going to let this cook for um, two and a half hours, and we're going to, every half hour, we're gonna turn this. Okay, to make sure that it's getting nice and brown on all sides. And we're gonna take it right into the oven. That's it. That's how you make porchetta. I'll be back in a little bit, guys, to show you the finished product, uh, or at least what it's looking like halfway through so you can make sure you're doing it right as well. And uh, anyway, I appreciate you tuning in, and uh, stay tuned for the uh, next recipe. I'll be back with you guys probably in a half hour here to uh, show you where this is, uh, where this is at. Ciao.